make it. Our team. Today we're going to try to tackle that, uh, oh, that, that, that question I get on a regular basis. Agency. When is it created? When have I earned a commission? Well, there's really two aspects. Let's take a look at, uh, and I, I'm talking about two aspects that most realtors are um, concerned with on a day-to-day -day basis. The first one is, when is agency created? Well, according to RECA and the Real Estate Act, it's pretty simple. Uh, agency is created as soon as uh, there's an exchange of confidential information, or uh, I'm sorry, um, the realtor receives confidential, uh, confidential information from uh, the client, uh, be it a seller or a buyer. So it doesn't matter whether you've explained the agency guide or you haven't, if you've taken confidential information such as financial information, um, motivation for selling or buying, that type of stuff, then you've created agency whether you wanted to or not. So that creates the fiduciary responsibilities that go along with agency. So that's one aspect. But the question that comes up uh, more often than not is when have I as a realtor earned a commission uh, after I've uh, performed my duties and yet uh, the client has decided to go and uh, purchase the property through somebody else. Well, the easiest way to look at it is that you must explain what agency is. That has to happen. So the agency guide is the way to do that. You go through the agency guide and, and, and the guidelines of the Edmonton Real Estate Board say that not only do you have an obligation to explain it, you have an obligation to seek written approval. Now they may choose to uh, not sign it, they may choose single agency, they may choose customer status, uh, that's irrelevant. But your obligation is to explain the agency guide and seek a written acknowledgement of it. So what if they won't sign it? They say, look, I'm not interested in uh, signing anything until such time as we write an offer with you. Um, obviously, you're probably going to still show them the property. And um, at that point, um, it's a risk. But if you've explained agency and, they, and seek their, um, their written acknowledgement, um, you still are going to be entitled to some commissions. Um, how do you prove that you've seeked agency, uh, or sorry, that you've explained agency and seeked uh, a written acknowledgement. Well, basically it just boils down to what your normal practice is, uh, the fact that you do it on a regular basis, um, and of course your own credibility. So, do you need to have it signed? No, you don't need to have it signed. Um, will you have a good chance of receiving commissions if it's not signed? It's a shot in the dark, hard to say, as long as you can prove and convince people that are making decisions about sh commission sharing that in fact you did do it and that in fact they did uh, not want to sign anything. And maybe that's why they didn't want to sign anything because their motivation was to uh, have you show the property and have somebody else write the offer. And we know that happens, don't we? Anyway, keep all that in mind when uh, creating agency with your clients. Remember, make our team. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Jay, Jay.